Greetings. Uh, this is a uh, introduction, very brief introduction and sort of overview video for Clarity 2.0. When you install Clarity, it'll put a, a shortcut on your desktop. So, like all shortcuts, we'll double click that and launch Clarity. The next screen to come up is, or the first screen, is the Setup Wizard. And it's giving the option to uh, connect to four potential JDEX smart cameras that can be connected typically via USB, um, but uh, we're going to work with an existing image. So you can you can acquire images through one of these imagers uh, while working in Clarity, or you can work with pre-existing uh, images, and that can be a collection of one or two or literally hundreds. So I'm just going to click Next. Uh, because it is a can just one canned image I'm going to be working with, we're going to work offline you could see that you could connect via USB to one of those uh, imagers. Uh, we're going to start a new job and this places us in the basically the, the, the work the work window for clarity. Uh, I just want to give you a brief little rundown of the different areas that are here. This is where you can create a new job, load an existing job, save a job, save a job as. Uh, adjust keeps you uh, brings you back to this work area. Uh, this little uh, wand will bring up the wizard, the setup wizard window again. Um, test is where you would uh, actually begin to run and test out the scripts that you would create in the uh, Clarity um, setup list. Uh, over here to the right we've got a pull down menu for the uh, available imagers uh, if, if we were going to connect one of those and then basically a connection status pull down window. Up here we have our plug-in bar and these are really the, the little workhorses of Clarity. Um, these plugins uh, are where the different types of machine vision are, are created and it's the process of pulling those in, let's just say let's add count. Now one thing I want to point out real quick here is it's showing us that we've got two red bars around our uh, the two steps that we have uh, so far in our step list indicating that those steps have failed. That's because we haven't brought, we don't have an existing image, it's just saying I don't have anything to work with. So let's, let's fix that. We'll go to acquire image. Let's bring in an image off my hard drive. Say open and you'll see that immediately that uh, step acquire image goes to green indicating success. Um, so I'm going to delete the blob count. Okay. And I'm going to put in presence absence uh, because that's the first one. On each one of these plugins you have down here below, um, this is this middle area, let me back up for just a bit, this middle area is the image viewer uh, area and with each step you will see a typically a dotted line rectangle. This is known as the area of interest. Uh, this will be explained in several of the videos and as long as I'm mentioning that there is an existing video that explains each one of these plugins and it's highly recommended that uh, you take the time to watch each one of those. We're not going to get into the details of that in this video, but I just wanted to explain the basic areas of work in the panels and uh, uh, just the very basics of, of clarity. Um, but as I say, this is an area of interest that comes typically, uh, we're right now we're in acquire image, but if we go to presence, you'll see that there's another one. And this is where you really define the area of the image that you're asking Clarity and the various plugins to focus on. When you are on a particular step, you will see that down below the image, um, image view window, you have an area called the input panes. And what these are are the specific controls for each one of these plugins. So as I add um, various plugins, it's telling me that I haven't defined something or successfully um, uh, completed an initial step, but just to show you the, the different controls 
um, let's add let's add decode as well. So as I step on each one of these or click on each one of these, um, you'll see that in the uh, input panes, the specific controls for that plugin are are displayed, uh, allowing you to make specific adjustments to these. Um, and for instance, under decode, we have uh, the results. If there was a barcode that was being read, it would it would indicate the results of that read in here. Um, but you can specifically control the different types of, in this case, linear barcodes um, and the various settings for, for those. The same is true for 2D stacked, uh, uh, 2D and stacked barcodes. Uh, a lot for this window here indicating the types of 2D barcodes that you are saying to look for. Um, if you didn't have micro PDF selected and one it was the only barcode in your window, you would get a negative result, but if you click that on, and that's explained in the uh, decode video. Um, but basically, that's that's kind of the big the big window pane uh, relationships between these: your step list, your image view area, your input panes, and then your plugin bar, where the various modules of Machine Vision are uh, are, are reside. Um, you can arrange these um, and change the um, order of these uh, plugins. And really, it is the combination of the, the order in which you are analyzing an image, the subtlety of the uh, inputs for each one of those machine vision functions. And it's really uh, a process, just like typical good tool use. It's the it's how you do things, or maybe a better analogy is one of sort of creating a recipe. It's it's how you put the ingredients in, and the um, the amounts and the subtleties of adjustment that you make, and that order of sequence that really can make for despite the fact that these many times seem to be fairly simple functions the combination of them can be create very complex and sophisticated results. Um, these, uh, just to point out a couple more fairly obvious little functions, you know, your magnifying glass zooming in and out of the image. Um, you can also bring in images this way. Um, but basically that's, that's a brief overview of uh, Clarity. As I said before, be sure to watch each one of the videos for each of these different plugins um, and uh, you'll really begin to see the uh, the powerful capabilities that JDEX Clarity Machine Vision software can bring. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.